US President Donald Trump may have written the book The Art of the Deal, but it is the South Korean President Moon Jae-in who has made a name for himself as a masterful dealmaker on the international stage. Since taking office in 2017, Moon has been pushing for engagement with North Korea, bringing the US President along with him. Trump was not convinced at first, though, even calling Moon an appeaser. Moon Jae-in was born in a refugee camp, the son of North Korean refugees. He was a human rights activist, then a human rights lawyer, even passing the bar while he was in jail for protesting against the dictatorship of Park Chun-hee in the 1970s. He also understands the fragile relationship between North and South Korea, having served in the DMZ, the demilitarized zone, in 1976 as a special forces commando. He entered politics in 2003 and became the chief of staff to the then President Roh Moo-hyun, even helping to organize the 2007 summit between Roh and the late North Korean leader Kim Jong-il. After a failed presidential bid in 2012, he then took over after Park Geun-hye was impeached. The election of the liberal-leaning Moon Jae-in really signaled a change in South Korean politics. Since coming to office, Moon pushed for more communication with North Korea, repeatedly inviting Pyongyang to be part of the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in South Korea. Now that certainly helped to cool tensions. It also started a dialogue between North and South Korea. Then a meeting, a summit between the two leaders, the first in over a decade. And Moon is also credited with helping to orchestrate the historic meeting between US President Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. But the stakes are high and the relationship is still shaky. If talks break down, then tensions could spike once again on the Korean Peninsula. The conversation could shift back to the possibility of military action. Many have tried to engage North Korea in the past. The question is, can Moon Jae-in's efforts lead to something more than lip service?